Hey, what's up guys? I've got a really cool package here from, as you can see, if you can read that if it actually focuses, uh, Vinegar Syndrome. This is the second package I've gotten from them in the past a month, I suppose. Well, I suppose, yeah, because their Black Friday sale was just, or the halfway to Black Friday sale was just in um, May something or other. So, less than a month. I suppose. Actually, only a couple of weeks, really. Shit. That's probably the most, the quickest I've ever gotten a package from them in between, I suppose, the subsequent uh, purchases. I'm just babbling on about nothing. Who cares about the fucking packages? Let me just open this up. With the typical double wrapping here, I gotta get my trusty thing out again. Is that good enough? It wasn't. Not good enough. I need the scissors for that. You guys can see anything I'm doing. I'm cutting this open like this. There. I tried to use my um, box cutter, but that wasn't doing it. So, all right, let's just bring them both out at the same time. It is Blood Theater, which I think is a double feature with something else. Blood Theater, and well, Blood Theater and the Visitants. And, which is embossed there. And the second one is Grave Robbers. That's kind of cool, actually. God, their slipcovers are so cool. They put so much work into these. It says at the bottom here for Grave Robbers, this is limited to 1,500. And Blood Theater is limited to also 1,500 there, you can see. So cool. Honestly, I, I say this every single time I unbox these. But uh, the slipcovers alone are worth um, the price of admission to me, I think. Like, oh, these are so cool. They're just, there's just so much work has put into this. So much love and tender loving care. I'm sure this costs like four or five times, if maybe more than a, than a regular steel, oh, not steel book, a regular slipcover that a, like a WB or a Universal puts out for a short run. And it's probably, well, those probably only have way more than 1500 at the first round probably 15,000 or something stupid like that well but yeah so fucking cool anyway here's the movies themselves uh, blood theater and grave robbers um i have never heard of either and i was still excited to get them because they just once again i like the packaging and i thought the movies sounded interesting uh, let's try the Grave Robbers first, because this one sounded kind of cool, like, you know, like literal Grave Robbers, so. What they do to your body after you're dead is the ultimate nightmare. That's not good. Jeez. It's kind of very similar. Got this tombstone there. There's a woman, there's a naked woman in the background, the guy on a motorcycle with a really funny expression on his face, like he's insane. So that's what we take a look-see and see what this is about. This is also embossed back here. So I didn't go this. It's glossy down here and embossed, and up here it's more of a matte finish, and it's glossy. The little character with the shovel is also. This is so cool. Very nice. It's not dented or anything either. Looks like it's in pretty good condition, considering. Okay, let's see. Grave Robbers. Nora Mae Edwards had always dreamed that a handsome and wealthy man would offer to marry her, but she never expected to find love while working the night shift at a sleazy diner. However, when John Henry Cox proposes to her within moments of their meeting, Nora can't help but say yes. Whisked off to John's home town of Newbury to live in his family's mansion, Nora discovers that her new husband's profession is that of an undertaker and that the local death toll is disproportionately high. As the joys of marital bliss soon give way to increasingly violent nightmares, she begins to suspect that her seemingly gentle husband may be harboring a dark secret, especially when she learns that she's far from the first Mrs. Cox. But even more terrifyingly, that while her husband desires her body, he preferred cold and dead. A darkly humorous and vaguely supernatural story of necrophilia, Grave Robbers is a gruesome black comedy about the meaning of love and lust after death. Written and directed by Straw Wiseman, in the final producing effort from exploitation film star, film czar Lou Mishkin, Vinegar Syndrome, 
brings this direct-to-video rarity to Blu-ray, newly restored from its camera negative and fully uncut. There's some uh, stills there. I think it's the same as here. Yeah, basically. And you get a uh, new scan and restored in 2K from 35 millimeter negative. Commentary, excuse me, commentary track with my director Straw Weisman. Digging up the past with interview Straw Weisman. Director's introduction, uh, trailer, cover art, and subtitles. So not a whole lot, but still, like I said, it's never really about that. It's more about the um, the artwork and stuff, and just the fact that these movies are so different than mainstream. Not mainstream at all. Oops, did I open that? I almost did. Okay. Get this off of here. If I can get a hold of it. There we go. Get the top there too. Oh shit. Fuck that up. Let's fuck that right up. It's just I'm going to cut myself right live on camera here. And I'll upload it anyway because that's what I do. Two discs, like usual. Got the Blu-ray on the right and the DVD on the left, and the background art. I will leave this as this because that's different artwork and that's always cooler. Personally. It's always nice to have the DVD though too, that's cool. Great rubbers. It's very cool. I actually want to look... Well, I, I, the last couple I've, I've actually unboxed here I really have been interested in. I don't think I've watched any recently though, but I really should. But uh, a lot more horror than exploitation. I do appreciate the horror more. Horror, comedy horror stuff. There's a lot of comedy horrors actually in this collection. Oh shit. Uh, let's try Blood Theater now. Excuse me, shit, I'm just burping on screen. Um, 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 um. Actually, how about I unbox it first so I can actually read this a little bit better? Because why the hell not? This is a double feature, like I said. It's the Blood Theater and the Visitants. Visitants. I've never heard of it before. Oh shit. Got pieces flying everywhere. Hold on just a second. Almost got this open. Shit, I'm fucking this up again. Damn. There we go. And it's the same artwork, actually, which is kind of a rarity. And that's the Visitant's artwork. I think I'll switch it around. I'm kind of curious why they didn't do that. Usually they have um, different artwork. But, um, this time they did not, but that's fine. It's alternate movie artwork, at least. That's cool. Now, is this actually... Oops, I'll put it down. It's the same... Actually, that's a little different. Hmm. Oh no, it's this, okay, they, they just reversed them. They, they're talking about the visitants here because this one's the visitant arts work, artwork. And then it's got Blood Theater the second one. And then obviously here, the slip cover, it's got the information for Blood Theater first and then the visitants. So it's the same information, just reversed, that's all. So how's about, well, it's got different screenshots too, of course, because it would be, whoops, shit. Um, how about I read, well, this is a little bit clearer with the slipcover. I'll read this one first, or only, whatever. From the damaged mind of director Rick Sloan, Hobgoblins, comes Blood Theater and The Visitants. In Sloan's 1984 debut, Blood Theater, an old movie house in which a massacre occurred decades earlier, finally reopens only to be once again targeted by a bloodthirsty maniac intent on murdering anyone and everyone who makes the mistake of buying a ticket. Packed with low-rent bloodshed, Blood Theater exemplifies the no-budget aesthetic Sloan relished and excuse me, and features the one and only Mary Warrenov eating Raoul in a supporting role. Sloan's second feature, uh, The Visitants, is set in the neon-colored 1950s and chronicles the hijinks which ensue following the theft of a ray gun by a teenage boy from his bizarre neighbors who just happen to be aliens who have embedded themselves within a steep, excuse me, sleepy suburban neighborhood. <coughs> excuse me. That actually is kind of funny sounding. Hmm. This artwork is kind of... actually kind of looks washed out and not very focused, but it's whatever. Secondary. That one sounds kind of... Kind of that sounds interesting. I'll watch that at some point. 
Barely seen since their debut theatrical runs, Vinegar Center presents the Blu-ray debuts of these off-the-wall, homegrown pieces of jaw-dropping mutant cinema, both newly restored from their 35 camera negatives. Newly scanned and restored in 2K from their 35mm camera negatives, bonus features film, bonus feature film, Visitants 87, directed by Rick Sloan, commentary track with Rick Sloan on Blood Theater and Visitants, ensemble intro from a screening at the new beer release in Milan, Los Angeles. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all those people, Blood Theater post film Q and A with them. Commentary track for Blood Theater with Hysteria continues. Subcover artwork by Chris Garofalo, Bruce Bullock, cover for Residence and Subtitles. I think I'm just gonna say the same thing. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I didn't say it on the on the uh, Grave Rappers, but it's. Uh, Right there. I think they're pretty much all region free. That's typically what they do, as far as I know, anyway. I already opened this, didn't I? Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Pretty quick. Like I said, I've seen neither of these, or I guess three films, so I haven't seen any of them. But, um, whoops, it's very blurry. Hold on. There we go. Da -da -da. Very cool. So, that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. Damn, I'm coughing like crazy. This is the. Actually, is this the June pack? This is the first time I think I've ever actually bought a package. June 8, 2018 Blu-ray package of both these films. And I'm excited, so. Thanks for watching another unboxing this stuff, guys. I will have more stuff at a later date. I usually have stuff every week because I'm just buying crap like crazy. And um, thanks that you, I'm thankful that you guys are watching, and I hope you're enjoying seeing me unbox stuff like this because I like it. And it's fun. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again later for more Vinegar Syndrome or Steelbook or Crazy Horror Unboxing. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later, and bye.